in the woods Morning guys, Dave Cadbury at the Pathfinder School. Out here at the Pathfinder School property, we just finished up a basic class uh, this morning a little while ago and got everybody out of here. I wanted to show you a tip or trick today that I teach in my basic class. Um, actually, I taught this weekend in my basic class. The new idea that I've come up with for a portable type compass. A lot of people talk about improvising compasses with different things. And of course, we all know that needles can be magnetized to improvise a compass. But I came up with an idea that you can improvise a compass that you can use multiple places and not have to carry any really more gear than what you have already on your body. Now I take a magnetizing instrument here that comes from any hardware store or home improvement store. Basically it's made to magnetize screwdrivers and tools with. It only costs a couple dollars and that's where I put my cloth sail needle to magnetize it. You can just shove it in there and it's got a positive on it right here to magnetize it. And it, if you sit it in there for 10 or 15, 20 minutes, it magnetizes it for quite a long time. You leave it in there for a couple of days, that thing will probably stay magnetized for months. The other thing that I've used for this project to make this portable compass is I've got a Ziploc bag here. A lot of people carry Ziploc bags. This is just a one quart freezer bag. And then I've got a small bobber right here, okay, that came from a Bass Pro Shops. And it's just a small bobber like you would keep in your kit, um, in a small fishing tube kit or hobo fishing type kit. And what I've done is I've taken a little piece of duct tape and put it over the top of this sail needle just to make it stick in here. And I put the positive end, just like on a compass, I put the point through the red end. So that gives me positive. Now this thing would float in any standing water to give me a portable makeshift compass for general direction. But what I found out is that if I use a bag, a Ziploc bag and I put water in that bag and leave myself a bit of an air pocket in here so I'm filling that about halfway up and just drop that needle in there I can then lay that bag once I get the lock zipped up on it here okay if we turn that bag on a side creating an air pocket up here and we've got this magnetized needle basically floating in there you can see I just pushed it with my finger there and we just let it settle. You can see it's drawing itself toward north there, spinning around a little bit. And you can see it moving. And what we'll do is we'll kind of push around a little bit so you can see it moving. See what it does here. You can see it keeps trying to pull itself over to the right hand side of the screen there and go right to that corner. Okay, now let's look at a compass and kind of see what that is compared to a Sunto MC2 compass. Okay, I'm trying to get these close enough together that I can get them both in the frame, but I don't disturb one or the other with the metal from the opposite. But you can see this needle's pointing straight off in this direction, and the Sunto says exactly the same thing. Now we can take and we can turn this bag up. Set it back down, let it settle, and there it goes again, pulling right for that corner, right for that direction. And again, straight off this direction. And our Sunto says the same thing, straight off in this direction. The parallel line right there. So this is a pretty good way that you can improvise a quickie compass with your sail needle, utilizing another piece of your 10-piece kit. A lot of people carry Ziploc bags. I carry a few of them in my kit most of the time in my shelter kit, just to use for improvised containers if I have to. But besides being an improvised container, you can improvise a portable compass because I can set this down on any flat surface and it will work. I don't have to worry about finding a pool or a puddle or anything else. I can just create my own pool inside this Ziploc bag and it makes a portable compass. Well, 
Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this little tip or trick on how to make a portable compass quick and easy from your cloth sail needle, your canvas needle, and your 10 piece kit. I like to use the heavier needles like the canvas repair or cloth sail needle that we sell on our website because, you know, they're a heavy duty punching type, all type needle. So I can use them for a lot of things um, for repairing my gear, punching holes in leather, things like that, as well as first aid things like picking things out of my skin, digging stingers and splinters out. And then again, it gives me a good heavy thick heavy gauge needle that I can magnetize to use for a compass needle in an improvised situation. So I appreciate your views. I appreciate your support. I appreciate you joining me here for this quick tip or trick video. I appreciate everything you do for my school and my family. And I'll be back with more videos as soon as I can.